Question 1. What do you know about Selenium? Answer. Selenium is a suite of tools for web automation testing. Selenium first came to life in 2004 when Jason Huggins was testing an internal application at ThoughtWorks. Selenium was a tremendous tool. It wasn't without its drawbacks. Because of its JavaScript-based automation engine and the security limitations browser apply to JavaScript, different things became impossible to do. Selenium suite of projects includes O Selenium IDE O Selenium Core O Selenium 1 known as Selenium RC or Remote Control O Selenium 2 known as Selenium Web Driver O Selenium Grid Question 2. What are the technical challenges with Selenium? Answer. As you know Selenium is a freeware open source testing tool. There are many challenges with Selenium. Oh Selenium supports only web-based applications or it doesn't support any non-web-based like Win32, Java Applet, Java Swing, Net Client Server ETC applications or when you compare Selenium with QTP, Silk Test, Test Partner and RFT, there are many challenges in terms of maintainability of the test cases or since selenium is a freeware tool there is no direct support if one is in trouble with the support of applications question 3 what are the test types supported by selenium answer selenium could be used for testing the web-based applications the test types can be supported are o functional or regression or load testing Question 4. What are the capabilities of Selenium IDE? Answer. Selenium IDE, Integrated Development Environment, works similar to commercial tools like QTP, Silk Test and Test Partner ETC. The below mentioned points describes well about Selenium IDE. O Selenium IDE is a Firefox add-on. O Selenium IDE can support recording the clicks, typing, and other actions to make a test cases. O using Selenium IDE a tester can play back the test cases in the Firefox browser. O Selenium IDE supports exporting the test cases and suites to Selenium RC. O debugging of the test cases with step by step can be done. O breakpoint insertion as possible. O page abstraction functionality is supported by Selenium IDE. Question 5. What are the challenges with Selenium IDE? Answer. Selenium IDE does not directly support O condition statements or iteration or looping or logging and reporting of test results or error handling, particularly unexpected errors or database testing or test case grouping or re-execution of failed tests or test case dependency or capture screenshots on test failures or results report generations. Question 6. Which are the browsers supported by Selenium IDE? Answer. Selenium IDE supports only one browser Mozilla Firefox. The versions supported as of now are O Mozilla Firefox 2, X O Mozilla Firefox 3, X. Question 7. How to execute a single line command from Selenium IDE? Answer. Single line command from Selenium IDE can be executed in two ways, or right click on the command in Selenium IDE and select execute this command, or select the command in Selenium IDE and press X key on the keyboard. Question 8. How to insert a start point in Selenium IDE? Answer. Start point Selenium IDE can be set in two ways, or right click on the command in Selenium IDE and select set clear start point or select the command in Selenium IDE and press S key on the keyboard or you can have only one start point or if you have already set one start point and you selected other command as start point, then the first start point will be removed and the new start point will be set. Question 9. How to insert a comment in Selenium IDE? Answer. Comments in Selenium IDE can be set in two ways, or right click on the command in Selenium IDE and select Inert New Comment or if you want to comment an existing line. You need to follow the below mentioned steps, or select the source tab in IDE or select the line which you want to comment, or assume that if you want to comment a open command you need to write the code. Question 10. How to insert a breakpoint in Selenium IDE? Answer. Breakpoint can be set in two ways in Selenium IDE or right click on the command in Selenium IDE and select toggle breakpoint or select the command in Selenium IDE and press B key on the keyboard or if you want to clear the breakpoint once again press B key on the keyboard or you can set multiple breakpoints in Selenium IDE. 
Question 11. How to debug the tests in Selenium IDE? Answer. To debug or execute the test cases line by line, follow the below mentioned steps, or insert a break from the location where you want to execute step by step, or run the test case, or execution will be paused at the given break point, or click on the step, blue, button to continue with the next statement, or click on run button, to continue executing all the commands at a time. Question 12. How to export the tests from Selenium IDE to Selenium RC in different languages? Answer. From Selenium IDE the test cases can be exported into the languages O, Net or Java or Perl or Python or PHP or Ruby. Question 13. How to export Selenium IDE test suite to Selenium RC suites? Answer. From Selenium IDE the test suites can be exported into the languages as mentioned below O, Net or Java or Perl or Python or PHP or Ruby. The below mentioned steps can explain how to export the test suites, or open the test case from Selenium IDE or select file to export test suite as. Question 14. What are the types of text patterns available in Selenium? Answer. There are three types of patterns available in Selenium, O globbing or regular expressions O exact. Question 15. Does Selenium support Google Android operating system? Answer. Yes. Selenium Web Driver or Google Web Driver or Selenium 2.0 supports Android operating system. There are several libraries written to support Android operating system. Question 16. Which are the operating systems supported by Selenium? Answer. Selenium IDE works in Firefox 2 plus start browser, run tests, run tests, operating systems supported, or Windows, or OS X or Linux or Solaris or others whichever supports Firefox 2 plus. Question 17. What is Selenium RC? Answer. Selenium RC is the solution for tests that need a little more than just simple browser actions and a linear execution. Selenium RC leverages the full power of programming languages, creating tests that can do things like read and write external files, make queries to a database, send emails with test reports, and practically anything else a user can do with a normal application. You will want to use Selenium RC whenever your test requires logic not supported by running a script from Selenium IDE. Question 18. What is Selenium Grid? Answer. Selenium Grid is part of Selenium suite of projects. Selenium Grid transparently distribute your tests on multiple machines so that you can run your tests in parallel, cutting down the time required for running in browser test suites. This will dramatically speeds up in browser web testing, giving you quick and accurate feedback you can rely on to improve your web application. Question 19. What is Selenium WebDriver or Google WebDriver or Selenium 2.0? Answer. WebDriver uses a different underlying framework from Selenium's JavaScript Selenium Core. It also provides an alternative API with functionality not supported in Selenium RC. WebDriver does not depend on a JavaScript core embedded within the browser. Therefore it is able to avoid some long-running Selenium limitations. Question 20. What are the capabilities of Selenium WebDriver or Google WebDriver or Selenium 2.0? Answer. One should use WebDriver when requiring improved support for OMALT browser testing including improved functionality for browser not well supported by Selenium 1.0, or handling multiple frames, multiple browser windows, pop-ups, and alerts, or page navigation, or drag and drop, or Ajax-based UI elements.